close your eyes and check out the news inside. What's going on in your body? What's going on in your mind? How's the level of energy in the body? Is it too much or too little? You can breathe in a way that can bring it into balance. And how's your mind? Is it leading to the past, leading to the future, leading to things you like or dislike? Well, try to bring that into balance, too. This is where you're keeping tabs on what you're really responsible for. We know so much news about the world outside, news about things over which we have no control and for which we're not really responsible. to the point where we don't keep up with the news inside, on the areas where we really are responsible and we, where we can make changes. So try to bring your breath, bring your body into, into balance, bring the mind into balance. Otherwise it goes out looking for trouble. oppressing itself and oppressing other people with its own greed, aversion, and delusion. If you take care of yourself inside like this, it's not a selfish activity, and you're not closing your eyes to the world. You're opening your eyes to the place where the source of the world lies, which is inside. Each of us creates our actions coming out of the states of our minds. And so each of us has to look into the state of our mind, see what we can do to straighten it out so that we don't suffer and we don't cause other people any trouble as well. When you have less greed, aversion, and delusion inside, there's going to be less greed, aversion, and delusion in your actions. And other people may take that as a ex good example. They see what you're doing, they like it, and they can change the way they behave, too. This is the way we bring change into the world, not by forcing other people to change, but by inspiring them, showing them there is a better way to act. So make sure that you're always up to date with the news inside. As for the news outside, it's pretty much the same thing over and over again. More stories of greed, aversion, and delusion. People breaking the precepts. You're not going to be able to change that news without first changing your news, making sure that you're not breaking the precepts and that your actions are motivated by compassion, wisdom. It all has to come from within. So as we focus on the news inside, we're not playing like ostriches, hiding away from the real causes of things. We're actually looking at the genuine cause for where in the world does your suffering come from? Where is the potential put it, to put an end to that suffering? What comes from within? And when you know the news, then this news, you can act on it. You can do something about it. It's not like the world outside or the news outside where they tell you things that you can't change and you feel helpless, you feel powerless. The Buddha points you to the areas where you do have power and you can make a difference. Our problem is that we tend to ignore these areas and pay too much attention to other people's business. We have to look after our own business first, so keep on top of your news right now. And if it's not good news, change it. You will benefit, and the people around you will benefit as well.